Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I'm excited to be here tonight. Uh, we've started a bit late. But that's because ooh, it was our first day of the In His Presence worship experience. We had such a powerful time. And um, hence the delay, but we're still going to continue with our teaching tonight. So, um, I trust that... Uh, <laughs> I trust that uh, 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 we're going to come on and um, as usual when my time comes in um, I'm just going to start off immediately and uh, whoever I will have tonight I will be so grateful to God for giving me that but amen so kindly let me know where you're watching from uh, let me know where you're watching from I came so much in a hurry, I didn't I even title this video, but it is well. Today we want to discuss what do I do after I say I do. So kindly as you've come on, kindly just let me know by registering at the comments area where you are tuned in from. And then we are going to um, start on our teaching. Glory be to God. So what's supposed to come on at 10.45, but I decided just to come in early and uh, and just enjoy our fellowship and interaction together in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm glad. Wow. <laughs> oh, from quick mat. <laughs> uh, our Christian is... Uh, one of our worship ministers in church so i'm thinking she's in quick mat because she's trying to get one or two things to go and prepare for dinner uh, more grace uh blessing florence god bless you for coming in for tuning in amen i'm glad you can tune in even from quick mat that's that's honorable view that's amazing amen and amen so in a few more minutes we set in to continue uh, with our teaching glory be to god and i'm excited i'm excited about the teaching so the admonitions we've been bringing and um, with the feedback i've been getting i'm glad it's humbling to know that uh, they're helpful people are getting blessed um it's uh it's humbling it's humbling it's humbling all right so normally guys i want you to know that uh Part of the reason I, I take time to wait is not so that we can actually get numbers, which is good, uh, which I appreciate, but so that we can reach our required time. I normally try to come on five minutes earlier so that um, when the time reaches, we quickly uh, hit the road running. Uh, today we're going to be brief, we won't be uh, very long, we'll be very brief. So kindly just let me know uh, where you're watching from. Uh, please that would be amazing if you can just type at the comment section let me know where you're watching from uh, that would be very humbling that would be very humbling uh, Brenda Yogo thank you very much for tuning in I celebrate and appreciate you thank you very much uh, guys if you can just let me know you're, uh, just or say tuned in or something so that I can know you're there that will be amazing Esther Wambugu God bless you. Uh, Dominique, my son, God bless you. Wow, God bless you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, wow, this is amazing. Usla, Usla Difu. Nyar Budalangi. How is Budalangi? <laughs> Thank you, Usla, for tuning in. God bless you, Usla. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Amen. Wonderful. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Lois Karani is tuned in from Rongai. Thank you, Lois. God bless you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Portia, 
uh, Elsa Cairo tuned in from Kahawa Sukari. Thank you very much. Uh, Frida Nkatha Manyara is tuned in from County 011. Uh, I'm assuming uh, you wanted to speak it as a parable so that we may not know the exact county. <laughs> yeah, but I know you live somewhere. Um, mm, amen. Somewhere. It's in this country. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Wow. Usla is tuned in from Asilo. Amazing. Yeah. Usla, do you know where our church is? Just near you there. Uh, Tony is tuned in. Tony Israel Omukenya is tuned in. I mean, for the training. That's amazing. All right, guys. Michelle Gaki is tuned in from Kiwanja. Always a blessing to have you, Michelle. Thank you very much for your consistency. Please tell prophetess to tune in. <laughs> uh, yeah, glory be to God. All right. Today we want to discuss candidly what do you do after you say I do? What do you do after you say I do? So let's pray and then we start our discussion tonight. Loving Father, we are nothing without you. This will be wasted time without you. It will be information that will not bring transformation if you don't breathe on our time together. So Heavenly Father, I pray that as we share and discuss, let your Holy Spirit breathe. Take over Facebook now. Take over the minds and the hearts of your people. Let everyone glean something as we listen keenly and participate and watch. We thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless us. We are praying. Magiwa Leula got in. And all prophetess also got in. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. All right. Today we want to talk about what do you do after you say I do. What do you do after you say I do? And if you don't mind, guys, you can share the video to many groups so that they can benefit. I normally say that a word here may not be relevant for you now, but you may be an evangelist by sharing it. Somebody else may be touched and impacted. And actually, that is what I've been getting reports from people that were uh, watched it from a different group altogether. So uh, make sure that you share. All right, prophetess, uh, my apologies. Uh, God bless you. So what do you do after you say I do now? Let me tell you, the things I'm about to share are predicated on a good friendship, dating, courtship foundation. This is what I mean. I mean, I, I mainly want to talk to people that went through, did their due diligence before they walked up and got into marriage. The kind of people I want to address, I'm not addressing people that have outright abuse in their marriage because what I'm about to say may not bear significance or have meaning. I may appear, I may appear to be um, unconcerned or I lack empathy, but I want to be very clear uh, that the things I'm about to discuss, I'm not talking about somebody who is in an outrightly violent marriage or outrightly promiscuous marriage where it is obvious, it is outright, it is there. You're being beaten, turned into this left, right and center. Uh, I, I, I'm, 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 th those cases are different and how to handle those matters are different. I'm talking to people that um, you have you are married, but you just have regular disagreements. You don't see eye to eye about certain things which are not very too complicated, and uh, you you think that is a, a really uh, a serious matter. No, no, no. I'm just talking to people uh, at today that you you have you have regular, uh, and I think I need to share this. Uh, every marriage normally has what we call moments of intense fellowship. Moments of heated debate. So those moments will always be there. So that doesn't mean that uh, uh, you are not married to the right person. It just means that both of you are human and you need to find a way of solving problems that have emerged as a result or what uh, was the foundation uh, of that argument and so on and so forth. So as I'm talking to you kindly, just listen to me from my heart and I believe God is going to bless you. What do you do after you say I do? 
the first thing that I encourage you to do after you say I do is to get the D word of your head. Get the D word of your head. Throw it out the window. The D word is divorce. Get the D word out of your head. Get into marriage for the long haul. Don't get into it with one foot here and one foot out. Get into it ready to go the whole mileage. I can surprise you that statistically it has been proven that the reason most marriages don't work is because people are not there entirely. I've often repeated this and said that majority of people get in, bring in 50% and they want bring in 50%. That kind of marriage will not work. It is not 50 plus 50 that makes 100. It is 100 and your 100 brought together that makes a, a perfect 100. But you find some people in here with one leg and they always have an exit strategy, exit plan. They always have the D thing available. They still entertain it in the back of their heads. So that is what makes majority of people exit marriage at the very slightest uh, thing. And nowadays, especially now, anything small, uh, your, your, your wife shouts at you or your husband shouts at you, something, you just find something minute to cause it or to leave marriage. That should not be the case. After you do, remain done. <laughs> okay? Remain done. After you do, remain done. Remain there. Stay there. Have the mind that I'm in this thing for the long haul. Granted, though some things may appear later, but you did not come in expecting things to appear. Don't get into marriage expecting things to appear, expecting problems to appear, expecting something that will cause you to exit. No, enter there wholeheartedly, get the D word of your head. All right, I know this is a bit appeal, some people may not actually agree, but that's the truth. Number two thing, what do you do after you say I do? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know, and this may appear to be simple, but it's very, very powerful. Have an understanding that you are no longer single. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are no longer single. Why? Because while you are single, you are your own judge, you are your own jury. While you are single, you made decisions and executed them by yourself. You are independent. You never needed consultation. You never needed to communicate to anybody. You entered your house anytime you wanted. Uh, you ate whatever you wanted if you wanted to eat. You went and slept anywhere you wanted because you were single. There was no accountability. Now you are married. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, some of those things will not stay the same. As a married woman, you can no longer live in your married life as a single girl to assume that you are still single as a married woman or you are still single as a married man. For example, as a man, you cannot just, like you used to do before, get out there, buy mutura on the road, eat mutura, and then come to the house when you are full and your wife has paid the price to cook. Then you come and tell her that you are full. And that is how problems start. You know, some people think that in marriages, problems begin with very big things. If your wife cooks for you one night, two nights, three nights, and she sees that you're not eating, she'll stop cooking. Then you begin to complain, my wife does not cook for me. So you can no longer live like a single man. You used to buy and eat by yourself. This time, ukinunua nyamachoma, remember, there is somebody else in the house. You carry it. You see, as a married woman, you cannot just enter the house anytime. This is not the time where you can begin to throw bashes the way you used to do when you were single. That level of independence has gone. This is not the time where you just wake up and decide to go to Mombasa. Your husband says, babe, I'm in the house. Where are you? Oh, oh, sorry. We went to Mombasa. Some friends just to, we just felt wanted just to come and, and, and just enjoy the salty water and swim. You cannot do that as a married woman. You can't. In marriage, things are done with consultation, communication, even permission. Because as a wife, you're coming under another leadership. You have left the leadership of your father if he was still alive. And, or you, and now you've come under another leadership. So whatever that you need to do must be done in consultation. Babe, uh, 
me and my couple of friends want to go to Mombasa just to relax and have fun after this, this, this. Uh, uh, do I have your blessing? Can I do so? Okay. All right. Oh, by oh, by the way, babe, I'm 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 staying late. I'm I'm hanging out with some friends. We are eating yamachoma. I don't think to, to, today I will I will be able to do supper. Is that okay? Uh, or uh, you know, okay, babe, just enjoy yourself. Uh, should I wait up for you? Okay, no, no, babe, you can just sleep. Just leave the door open. I'll come and sneak in and, 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 and uh, not sneak in. I'll just come and get in quietly and things like that. That's communication. But not assume that your wife knows where you are. You enter the place at 10. You find her amefura kama mandazi abama. You're asking her what is wrong with you. Then, of course, uh, one, one time I'm going to teach you about the mystery of womanhood. The mystery of womanhood. And that is how I'm going to tell you how uh, women, um, how their, 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 their anger pattern and how they manifest themselves. I think possibly that may be a, a sequel. I can teach that uh, possibly in the, in the coming program. So, uh, Anafura, Nambia, what's wrong? And you know, uh, when you ask a lady what is wrong, she never gives an answer uh, that is right. She will tell you there is nothing wrong. What is wrong, babe? There is nothing wrong. Are you sure? Yes. I'm fine. Yes. Okay, let's go to bed. Then you see her marching like a soldier to bed, uh, my friend. The following day, she will say, you don't care. You didn't even ask me how I am. But I said, I asked you three times. Uh, that to a woman is not asking. For her, she expects for you to know that you made a mistake and she expects you to apologize and uh, hopefully try to rectify that and don't let it happen again. So the first thing, I, like I said, forget the D word. The second thing, Forget the singlehood. Live singlehood. You cannot do things anyhow. You can no longer do things the way you want them. You can no longer cook food and jaza pili pili like the way you wanted it. Your husband may not like pili pili. Okay? Lady, you can no longer just enter the house and at night unafunga stocking kwa kichwa, umeva trouser tatu, ume, 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 usjuna kaaje, aujaoga. You know, even when you are single, you could do those things. Aujaoga, you know, unanuka nini, una, una, unanuka jasho ya two days ago, uliosha nyumba subui, ulifanya general cleaning, alafu au kuoga kwa sababu kuna baridi, and then bado sweat, unanuka sweat, alafu siku ikikuja, unatarajea mewako, me, me aku, aku, aku nini, akudumie, uh, kwani, kwani yeni ngurue, kwani yeni minyama. Ah, uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, no. So no matter how it is, the brother will be enduring hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, hugging the wife and smelling sweat. And you know there are certain sweat zingine, they, they are so toxic, they can kill mosquito. The scent of that of that ni people, in fact people people that sell doom need to get the recipe of some people's sweat. Because the sweat it's so strong, it is so pungent, because it it can it can hit you. I mean you fall down, I promise you. So you find you're a lady, you've done that. Ulukula maskuma ziko kwa meno. And then uh, your husband comes home and hey, baby, how are you want to kiss? Then nona, nona tumboga uku. Um, oh, Jesus have mercy. Allow me just to be myself today. I told you I want to be myself. So please, you cannot just be the way you used to want. Kukato. Umejuwa chilia tu kwa nyumba, tileo ni filanga free. You put your leg there. I'm relaxing. Nobody... A washing your man. No, now know you have a man. Now know you have a woman. So your mannerisms and behavior must change. You are no longer single. <laughs> hey, let me say this to some people. Yeah, you can you can you cannot just continue receiving certain text messages. Okay. I think I need to hide myself. You can no longer continue to receive certain text messages. You are no longer single. You can no longer have a, a nice brother calling you, uh, texting you at night. Hey, babe, umelala. You know, those could work when you are single. Now you are married. Hmm? Ushai lala, my friend. Ne? Umelala. Then you will come lala. He said, unamu kuna pata stima, stima imewaka. Yeah? Then when you turn like this, unapata bibi yako alikuwa mekato na kuangalia na mnai. Yani, <laughs> na kuangalia hivi. Iyo macha me kugongea. Yani, she, she looks like if she had a knife, you'd be gone, my friend. 
Why? Because when you are sleeping, a message will come. Good night, babe. And possibly the person that sent the message did not mind. Okay? You need to understand you are no longer single. Because the people that used to call you, lady, the people that used to call you at midnight, some very deep voice, oh, baby, good night. Oh, so good night, darling, and there's no problem. So there are certain things that can no longer work. Okay? Mulukom na hagiana kabla muachane mekadul kadul kidogo, mekadul kadul kidogo. Now remember, you have a husband. So kikujo hagitena obeste yako, na badu una, you are tarring there. You are tarring there. Hmm? You are tarring there. You are waiting upon I don't know what. Ni aji uko saa una mshika masharuvu. Una mwe, hey, you are well, you are well nini. Alafu meet my husband, my friend. <laughs> oh, remember you are not single. People, and this is normally happens to people that immediately just got married. Una saa ya kwamba ulivuka hiyo mpaka. Please remember you are no longer single. So you can no longer have text messages that you used to receive. You can no longer behave around the opposite sex the way you used to there are certain languages that you can no longer use there are certain types of food you can no longer eat because now you have to share them with your spouse possibly the vegetarian or they are diabetic are you understanding okay and things like that so you really need to be remember you are not single it's not an it's not an it's a very powerful concept you are no longer a single man you are no longer a single lady so sile jarul kuna fika tu nanunua mtura kwa barabara una bomoa mtura Ukishamaliza mtura, unachukua toothpick wewe huyo teke teke nyumbani, unakunywa tu maji ka umelala, uachane na hizo manjaro. Because sasa kuna you have another mouth to feed. You have another mouth to feed, okay? Remember you're no longer, lady, as a single lady, you used to appreciate your own food. You used to cook the food the way you want. You used to cook your own mashakura the way you want. Baptize it in water the way you want, okay? You used to do baptism, immersion. Everything you, to you must be baptized. Viazi, carrot, everything must be underwater for you to know it is food. And you used to eat and you used to enjoy it. Now you have a man who doesn't appreciate that kind of food. So please, avoid the baptism method. Avoid baptism method. Go fry method. Now because you have somebody else. Because you are no longer single. You, you enjoy mashakura. He doesn't enjoy. If you cook yourself, if you, if you, if you cook for yourself mashakura, remember that there is somebody else. Cook for him because you are no longer single. That's my point. Remember, you are no longer single. You are no longer single. That's very important. You are no longer single. Everything you, everything you are doing at home must be to, to impress your partner. You want to impress your partner. You want to impress you. So even how you dress, the lingeries, ladies, you, you wear them at night to impress, to impress your partner. You see, now you cannot tell me, Pastor, my husband doesn't touch me. Then when we look at you, when we analyze your life, the clothes you wear, the overall, kabuti, zile ba, dangari, I mean, and umefunga stalking of, you're not, you're not making any effort, you know, for, for your husband even to touch you, must speak in tongues for 30 minutes, so that the image of, I mean, God can change his perspective to see you. Don't make it difficult for him to try to imagine, where is your figure? Where does the eight start from? Where does the eight end? Because you have worn a lot of things. No, make it easy for him. Understandably, they are cold months, but put a heater in your house. Work a jiko, okay? Remember, you're no longer single. I'm not doing this thing to please him, all right? So when I serve him food, I'm doing it to please him. I'm not doing it to myself. So find out the type of things that your woman loves and begin to do it because you're no longer single. Now you must think about the other partner. You're no longer single. I cannot overemphasize that point. Number three, what do you do after you say, I do? I hope you are getting blessed. What do you do after you say I do? Please listen to this point. It's very important. What do you do after you say I do? Do. <laughs> Please do. Hmm. What I mean by doing is do. I mean you need to make sure that your spouse is not only fed physically, it's not only fed spiritually. It's not only fed emotionally. But when it comes to your sexual life, make sure you are on point. Make sure you satisfy each other well. You, ha you have been licensed by both the government of Kenya, the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by heaven itself. You have been. And I'm going to say some sensitive things here. I think that's why God wanted us to have it at this time so that no children can be watching. 
you need to make sure that you satisfy your husband and your wife sexually. That when they go out, when they look at all the other women, all those women look like trees. Oh, all those men look like trees. My friend, you need to so organize your wife so well, well. Arrange her proper from outer court, inner court, holy of holies, living, exalting the name of Jesus at that point. That when she comes out, no matter the big, the chest big like a wardrobe, she will not say, what, what chest is this? Because she will remember, though my husband is as a small mosquito chest, but that he knows his job. Oh, 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 oh. I think Esther, you are right. Yeah, I'm kapo kwa 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 blue tent kidogo alafum tarudi after it. So you need to make sure, and this is what I've discovered. Always make sure your partner is satisfied before you. Never just come to rush like dangote trailer, boom, and then <laughs> and manifest, and then look at that and say, "Thank you, Jesus." Glory to God. Then you 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 leave your partner wondering uh, what is going on. No 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 no. You need to take your time. You need to take your time. If you have a healthy, healthy sex life as a couple, if you have a healthy sex life as a couple, believe me. Believe me. Uku inje mambo itakuwa. Nobody will, you'll not have extracurricular activities. There'll be no extracurricular. The reason why there are extracurricular activities at times, of course, there's some people that are just demonic. There's some people that are just uh, uh, de demonic. Yao tu ni wa demonic. Yani, si ni 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 bangi wa jakoya ama ni nini. I mean, they're just demonic. They're never satisfied. No matter, uh, they're never. So they have to do, you know, how, that's a, a deliverance case that they, they, they need to consult us for prayer. But I'm talking about a normal human being that is walking with the Lord. You need to make sure that your sex life is healthy. Let me tell you, God created sex and he made it beautiful. After creating everything, God looks at sex and says it is beautiful. Let me tell you, sex is an expression of worship. And some people, when it's done in the correct context of marriage, even God gets excited. God is sitting in heaven saying, wow, that's my son. woo that's my daughter. Oh, hallelujah. You know, some people think that when you are, as husband and wife, when you are making love, God is in heaven say, Jesus, close your eyes. Angels, please pay attention. Esther, there is no blue tent in heaven. God is saying, Jesus, let's visit the blue tent. No, he created it. He wants to see it happen. So, married people, please. Uh, somebody is saying that, uh, uh, Pasi, remember, uh, Remember that, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mom, please go to that blue tent, uh, uh, that blue tent, mom, a bit, just go to that, uh, uh, blue tent. Katuko blue tent kidogo mama lafu rudi. Yeah, nimalizane na awa, awa watu wangu ni wambie, hii kazi lazima ifanyo, lazima ifanyo vizuri. You need to make sure, when you, when your husband arrive, arrives home, the way you have dressed, you ask him, sweetheart. Do you want food or do you want food? I mean, they tell them all of them are ready. Food and food. Hallelujah. I feel it, I tell you. Do you want food, baby? Because the way you are dressed, you are ready to give that food. And also, ma pocho pocho. There is also shawama. There is also viazikarai. There is also nyamachoma. So, babe. Because thy servant is here. What do you want? I am yielded to you. My body is no longer mine. The Bible says that. It is yours. Babe, what do you want? Oh, that is how. And then you give it the way he wants. Not the way you want. The way he wants. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Some people think that this uh, should not be talked about or Raphael, we thought you were a spiritual. This is spirituality. This is spirituality. This is spirituality. So you allow, you minister well. 
let me ask you when when you get to your married bed you are in a hurry unaenda Uganda unaenda Busia unaenda wapi where are you going where are you going e, 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 nini, please let's leave the 100 meters to, to, to this man i don't know this kenyan sprinter let's leave those ones for that man let's leave those ones for that man no 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 here it is ministry ministry you know little the bible says we do it line upon line little here little there building concept upon concept layer upon layer good food takes time to cook it must go slowly it is cooked well it is everything hmm. hallelujah mm. praise the lord wengine usema nikusalimie sangapi <laughs> oh god forbid praise the lord so please let, let, let me talk to men especially men men i know when forgive me for, for using this term men i know when you are forgive me men men i know that when you are when you are allow me to say this when you are aroused or on heat at times you don't think with this head i hope my mother has gone to the blue tent they don't think with this head you think with the other head so you are looking for <laughs> lydia stay here where are you going at good night you are... i've not finished i've not said good night stay until i finish <laughs> so you need to make sure at that point that your madam is well prepared let me tell you that there are risk, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't satisfy your wife, ladies and gentlemen, please listen to me, men. Somebody else will do it for you. That is why you find, you wonder, why do unaskia women go to the border border men? Because border border men wamezoea kunywa uji na gideri, they have energy, they take their time. Una kuja na maviazi zako na manini zako, suji five minutes umetoko na sema hallelujah, sande yesu. What are you doing? Take your time. That is why, please, make sure as a man you are physically fit. Do you want to keep your marriage or not? Make sure you are physically fit. Don't starve that woman. Starving her for what? Don't starve your wife. Why? Unakuja tu mechangamuka, changamuka, changamuka, wendo uyo, 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 mana kidogo ta, unanza kungorota what? What is that rubbish? Take your time. Make sure amegonga pale kwanza then we jipange na yako badai. take your time and there are methods mechanisms and there are things that can be done to make sure that your jiko imewaka vizuri your jiko ime 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 ime, ime shika moto vizuri your jiko iko sawa sawa kabisa 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 then now as a man you can get there so don't go to 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 uh, and then uh, uh, you know like normally i tell her uh, um, i tell worship leaders not everybody in the congregation is as spiritual as you so as you are leading people into worship so congregation will sit and begin to look at you and wonder what is this man doing or what is this lady oh god i worship you oh god you are for you are, you are, you are the lover of my soul you see now as a worship leader you've entered that place you have touched god but now what about the congregation why you are worship leader so who are you leading yourself in the congregation lead yourself personally in your own house the similar concept okay make sure that you lead your wife or you lead your husband okay lead your husband or lead your wife make sure that they reach there ukiona wewe unaenda kufika nao bado wako mbali una slow down kidogo una mchocha mchocha unamsaidia msaidia eh mnapelekana tu pale kidogo kidogo eh fanya eh ba 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 then that then mnaenda like this like that unaibrewa before you know it all of you together you enjoy and i'm telling you the truth ukiamka hiyo asubuhi ama hiyo jioni ama kama ni saa ngapi when you get out, you will see other ladies, they will look beautiful, but you will remember your wife. And all those men will look like goats. All those women will look like sheep. I mean, you will not see anything to desire there. 
because what you are getting is solid, is authentic, is potent, is powerful, is passionate. It takes time. Now, granted, this may not happen every night, but make sure the night it happens, it happens. Make sure it ha the night it happens, it rains cat and dogs. Make sure the night it happens, heaven records. I mean, make sure it's an encounter. Make sure it is an encounter. It is an encounter. I'm giving you a secret to, to make sure that to avoid us, but they have to a job and answer my mission. I'm showing you, and as my people are staying around, I'm in the home, I'm in the church, I have a service, I'm in the wapi. So they tell me, "Lea nani? I'm in the konani." Alafu na kutumia text. Maybe na tell me, "Lea James." Alafu na zima si. Wana sema beti yangu karibu kuisha. So in case uni pigi us poni pata, then na zima si. Ii tafanya nga tu, your husband tu ana, anangoja five. Anafanya kazi anangoja five. Anafanya kazi anangoja five. Five ikifika tu, eh, anasama mbio si, si, si kesho, kuna kazi ngini. Tunana kesho. Immediately uyo kwa matato, anakombia beba bon my way home. Alafu pia hapo na mtext. Kwanza setu na mtext, unapige kwanza kapicha. Umevalo njore. Unapige kapicha, unamtumia whatsapp. Unamambia I'm waiting, my friend. <laughs> so, uo driver yo matatu wataona shida. Oga hari ya. Oga hari. It is possible. It may not happen every night. Now, I'm talking like this. Some of you may think, but let me tell you. This is the place where I've discovered that majority of men, particularly men, we fail. And that's why our ladies have begun to buy tools. And that's why our ladies have begun to engage with the younger people who are more energetic, who have more fire, who have more durability, who have more energy, because we are not satisfying and complete them. And one day I'll talk here explicitly about sex, and it will be, and I, I will tell you, we're going to talk about sex, and I'm going to tell you uh, how to do it properly. I'm anointed to do so. That's why I'm a pastor. I will tell you how to do it properly, my friend. And uh, I promise you after this, when you meet with your wife, you, I promise you will send me an offering. I guarantee you, you will send me an offering. So make sure you do it. Then something else about making love to your wife. Be spontaneous. Do it. It's your house. Especially when you have no children. Enjoy it. Do it anywhere. On the seat, in the bathroom, kwa corridor, kwa veranda. Okay, you go and find a cooking manifest. Acha chakula yungwe marako. Chakula hizo zitakuja. Tu wata kama unga ni miambili, mungu wata provide. I mean, do it anywhere. You find a meinama hapa na wash clothes, manifest my brother. <laughs> oh, my mother, I hope she's still in the blue tent. She's now praying for me. Hey, my son. And I know prophetess also is praying for me. Yeah, and uh, I know some few people are praying for me also, like Pastor Rose. So it is well. <laughs> uh, but only me can talk these things. These things are very important and very powerful. You need to. Let, let me give you a story, a true story. A woman, a great woman of God, noticed that there was hardness in the meeting. The meeting was very tough. It was very hard, very tough. And. She was asking God, her staff, it was a staff meeting. She has a staff, I think, of around 100 people. And around 90%, 95% are married. She was wondering what the... And then the Holy Spirit, listen, the Holy Spirit told her, tell your people to go home and make love. <laughs> tell your staff, to go, those who are married, to go home. And then come back. Let me tell you. He, he obeyed the Holy Spirit. It was hard, but he obeyed the Holy Spirit. He told them, ladies and gentlemen, the Holy Spirit has spoken to me. All of you, go home today. I'm giving you a day off. Yeah, it, it, it was in the morning. No working today. Go home, those of you that are married, and make sure you make love to your spouse. Make love to her. And they went. When they came back that night, when they started the meeting, the move of the spirit was in another dimension. You think this thing that God doesn't like it. It is spiritual. And that is why I can tell you the truth. A man... Who makes love to his wife well. And notice, please, I, I want those of you married listening to me, and I I, 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 I I trust most of you. When you notice when you make love to your wife, normally 
after that there's a, some peace if you are sensitive you feel god's presence because it is something god enjoys when it's done in the context of marriage oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah you let me tell you men if you starve your wife even your prayers cannot be heard you can go 40 days fasting 40 days fasting unaomba 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 kuna kitu nafanyika then you break the 40 days fasting when i've been praying starving myself then one night you just decide let me minister to my wife well Min i want to talk about minister to your wife well i don't mean that you just enter and enter the bedroom and say hey mama uh, my, uh, remove your clothes everything are you ready because i want to turn off the light i want when i jump i jump to the correct place move 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 okay sit like all right okay yeah, lift up your heads, all oh, you get, so that the king of glory, I'm about to come in. Chua! And then you, no, no, no. This is something momentous you prepare. You, you, and let me tell you, when you do it, Utenda to say, my father, in the name of Jesus, you will feel God's presence come on you, you wonder, well, what has sex has to, what has making love to my spouse has to do with God's presence in my life? Can I shock you? The most anointed men of God that deliver powerful sermons on the on, on the altar that deliver powerful sermons on the altar au pewa vizuri na mabibi zao oh properly properly but they are ministered to well and the most anointed women who are married when you look at how they are you, you, you can notice <laughs> you can notice that um, uh, mama mama mepewa baby a pastor mama amepewa amepewa microphone anaanza ku preach wengine wengine wajinga wengine wengine ni pumbavu wengine ni kondo kwa nini mnafanya ujue kuna ukame ujue vita ya Ukraine na Russia ime affect economy ya hiyo nyumba <laughs> kuna ukame humo but ukiona praise the lord church i just want to say i love you you guys are amazing you just so nice. Holy Spirit, would you just bless the people? Huyo ukichunguza vizuri. Hali udumiwa properly. Thoroughly, absolutely, and also. She was impacted well. Organized nicely. Everything in her system was order. So when she's speaking, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. She loves everybody. But to kiona to be a pastor kila wakati amenuru. Uya nakuja amekasirika naye, uya nakuja amekasirika naye, uya amekuja amekasirika naye, paka amekasirika nayo, nini amekasirika nayo, we unakuja chakula kila wakati naungua. My friend, let me give you the key. Anza tu kujitayarisha tu pole pole. Prepare tu pole pole. Mwandae pole pole. I'm telling you, when you manifest there, chakula itaacha kuungua, chumvi itakuwa on point. I'm telling you hizo manguo zako zimekuwa zinapigwa hapa sisi kichomeka, zitaacha kuchomeka. Imekuwa inaekwa line 47 hapa. Ukitoka unatembea unakaa ni kumeva kap ya 1921. You will see zimeanza kunyoroka my friend. That thing is powerful. And let me tell you, I've discovered this. You minister to your wife properly, there is nothing she won't do for you. She will defend you to death. Oh, she will fight for you. She will claw anywhere for you. Imagine. So what does it cost? Believing God for good health, taking care of yourself, making sure that uh, that your physical health does not affect your erectile function. Men. Sijui kwa nini niko hapa na naona mna mna making sure that you 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 are you are you are eating well, you are preserving yourself, you are so that when that time comes you are ready. Ukona energy, my friend. Last evening, my friend. Awa tuwa mjengo, awa kukulaga gideri na wawuji. Awa tuwa kooda, my friend. Utapata ubebi yako milionea. Ame kunyo na shamba boy maali. Because awa na rakele chakula, awa na kula ikona. So make sure you eat well, my friend. Eating well is not pizza, KFC, all the time. No, eating... Eating well so that there is consistent blood flow in your brain, in your head. Okay? And ladies, can I also tell you something? Sex for men is psychological. If it does not happen here, nothing will happen down there. So, 
you see, it's not easy for a man to get an erection if he's stressed. So you need to make sure that as a woman, you make it easy for your husband. You allow his stress to come down. So for example, he enters the house na komudi na kuna attitude. Okay, alijaribu pale anaweza, you chatted through the day but kuna kitu kimemstress ameingia, labda landlord amemtukana, mwambie unabeba briefcase na unjalipa rent miezi tatu. Hiyo kitu imemo affect. Are you understanding my point? So akikuja, you know just a babe welcome how are you? Unamshika tu ambie baby relax. Is all well. You take your time. You calm him down. Don't add stress to him. Ewe umekuja, ulipata kazi. Yaani wanomo wote kwa hii plot wako na kazi. We unaendanga kutafuta kazi wapi? Kwani mkie wakienda north unaendanga wapi? Si mliona mkitoka pamoja mkienda hiyo njia moja. Kwani hizo pali waliingia wewe uliingia wapi? You know, no 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 you adding more stress then ikifika usiku unataka mtumishi akuhudumie there will be no impartation service that night make sure that is relaxed you 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 can massage his head you can learn his his his, his, his soft points and begin to touch them and and make it easy uh, you can you, you can you can feed him you can sit on his lap mpapasa hug him kiss him yani make him just relax relax you know he'll begin to feel this is what happens when you do that the man begins to feel a king again because when he when he when he got out his kingship position was threatened by society by people by things like his kingship position was threatened but when he came home there's a woman who is a who is his queen understands her place as a queen and begin to elate his ego the ego of the man he begins to feel a king and when a man begins to feel a king in his house what does a king do he begins to mark his territory Guess how he marks his territory. Ah, now you've got it. He'll begin to mark his territory. My friend, zile bile utatolewa hapo kwa hiyo kiti. Ukinuliwa hivi juju ukipelekwa hivi. Oh, but I'm still born again. I'm on my way to heaven. Well, possibly I'll reach there before you, but in the rapture, not not that I'll die before you. So the point is Make sure that you don't deprive each other. In fact, the Bible says that anytime you want to deprive each other, it should be consent. Babe, I want to get into fasting. I want to seek the Lord. Okay, how many days? Okay, I want to do it for three days and four days. So, okay, so for this time, all right. So, babe, utakuwa sawa. Ba, upoa, order. Yeah, now, wiko iduwa fasting, ambia, babe, by the way, ukilemewa, mini kwa hapa. Okay? Ukilemewa by the way mini kwa hapa. I, I mean I'm here for you. So usikufe tu huko ati eh ati nini nini uanze kunyonga mama yangu uko na vitu kaizo hapana. I am here for you. Babe, I am here for you. So ukisikia tu melemewa tu babe we zungumza. You know, I'm there for you. And let me tell you. Marriage can be sweet if just uh, we could understand these things. Marriage can be sweet if we could understand these things. Amen. Alafu watumishi wa Mungu na shukuru Mungu tumeitwa kama watumishi but au kuitwa kuwa tu missionary peke yake. Okay. Wacha nipanguze hiyo jasho. Au kuitwa kuwa missionary peke yake. Umesha kuwa missionary your wife now is converted please. You understand what I mean? So be be adventurous be adventurous you know there 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 how, how how can you have a house with multiple you know okay uh is semi vizuri wacha nirudie vizuri uko na nyumba ndio iko na entrance moja lakini hiyo entrance unaweza ingia nayo hivi unaweza ingia nayo hivi unaweza ingia nayo hivi unaweza shuka na parachute ingia tu na hiyo entrance tu uingie tu hivi unaweza fly uingie hivi alafu kazi yako tu ni unatembea na tukio wakati ukiingia ah oh, my friend explore these other ways to arrive at the entrance <laughs> haya wacha tufunge kwa maombi thank you very much guys for <laughs> tuning in uh, i don't know what came upon me i think uh, i'm from the worship experience and uh, <laughs> But I believe that we have been helped and uh, we have understood. I believe we have been helped and we have been uh, at least uh, uh, illuminated, enlightened. 
But if ever, yeah, I no way my sister, I agree with you. Yeah, so there should be, you know, uh, you know, you, you, you know, you know, the Bible says there are different gifts, but the same spirit. It's the same spirit, but there are different gifts, hmm? different administrations, but the same Lord. First Corinthians chapter 12. Different this, but the same Father. Okay. So there may be different ways, but the entrance, the same entrance. So don't, don't, don't just, uh, you have already preached they are saved. So now don't alter call him Asia. Uspuna ita alter call kila wakati. Alter call to, alter call to, alter call to. So wewe jaribu kwa neme ya mungu akusaidie. Okay. Ojue mambo kama ayo. That is why mungu wanafaa kutusaidia. Tukuange flexible. Hmm? Tukuange flexible. Uko unpredictable. Unajua? Mpira ineza kuja hivi, utano, ugonge, ufunge. Ufunge na uko. Unaweza enda nao hivi na bado ufunge. Ineza kuja kwa heo, pigi, hedi, ufunge. We, unpredictable. Alright. Uh, oh my God. Uh, oh, hey, I, I'm really, oh Jesus is Lord. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I should have been considerate about uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> God have mercy. <laughs> Christi do ni wewe. <laughs> ah, I hope the man of God is listening with you there. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. So guys, I promise I will organize two special sessions. One is to understand the mystery of this special PC species, excuse me, called a woman. And this will really empower the men and also help some women understand themselves. Then we're going to organize another special and possibly this one will organize it as a Zoom meeting just to understand uh, uh, sexology. I'm going to talk about the biblical dynamics of sex. And I'm going to talk about the difference between sex and making love. And I'm going to talk about use the tabernacle to demonstrate how the tabernacle, yes, the tabernacle of Moses. How from the tabernacle of Moses, how you can move from level to level, from place to place. Notice that kwa tabernacle kuingi watu alikuwa naanza wengi. Like in the Holy of Holies, it was only the high priest and the mercy seat. Somebody say hallelujah. So we shall tell you how to move from the outer court, sitting room, inner court, jikoni, holy of holies, the bedroom. How you can turn everywhere to be the holy of holies. And how God can be pleased with what you are doing to the glory of God the Father. In Jesus name, glory be to God. Um, the blue tent indeed will be enlarged in Jesus name. Glory be to God. And single people, I'm going to talk to you how to keep yourself so that the day the king of glory comes in, you will indeed say it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. She said, me kwa baya, but kuna sa zingine, muta mengoja lafa na kuja na shanga, ah, indo gitu nili, 15 years ni kingoja, so ni. Because, I will tell you, and I don't know why the, the grace for this thing is coming to us this time. Uh, it's coming to me especially this time. But I will talk about it. Uh, I may be criticized, but I will talk about it. I will talk about it. How to, how to keep yourself. How to keep, keep it. How to keep it. And uh, even I'm going to talk about some medical issues, some medical approaches, and how what to do. How to keep it nice, tight, and warm. Nice, good, and uh, clean. Hallelujah. So when the king of glory comes, he will say, Father, I thank you that my weight was not in vain. Because at times some people enter and they don't know they have entered. Because because the yeah, it was a door, now it's a gate. Okay. Shall we pray now? And I say, yes, not. Yes, uh, glory be to God. I trust you've been blessed. <laughs> hey, 
I trust you've been blessed. Woi 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 beti, nimekukosea. Ah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. All right. Let us pray. <laughs> Let us pray. Our dear loving Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you for our time, for our conversation together. I want to commit every married couple here in the name of Jesus that, Father, you shall help in this simple instruction, especially in this unique act of worship, you created and said, it is good. I pray that men will be empowered, women will be empowered to enjoy it in the confines of marriage. That we will never have enough of each other, no matter how many times we are together. Lord, you will cause couples never to have enough of each other, no matter how many times they are together. You will cause them not to have enough of each other. That every experience will give birth to one another. Experience will give birth to another with the same, same spouse. To the glory and honor of your name. And I pray for every single person watching. Please let your grace be upon them tonight. We sanctify their minds and hearts with the blood of Jesus. That devil that wants to bring other issues and cause this night to be a rough night, we, we curse you in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your breath breathe upon their lives tonight. I pray that the blanket will be enough. The shower will be enough. Whatever they will sleep it will they'll have enough rest let sleep land on them well quickly that they'll not be worried and begin to think and wonder about so many things cause them to come for the worship experience tomorrow thank you heavenly father in jesus name amen and amen now ladies and gentlemen tomorrow we continue with the worship experience we began today it was good god set us off on a very high tangent reminded us of prophecies he gave us several years ago and told us that this meeting was a beginning place for those uh, uh, for the fulfillment of those prophecies. So you're welcome. Tomorrow we begin from 5 p.m. because a Saturday up to 7 p.m. On Sunday we'll begin 4 p.m. and then we'll go up to 7. Or tomorrow we finish at 8 p.m. Then on Saturday we finish at on Sunday we finish at 7 p.m. Every evening, 6 to 9 p.m. We'll be at Living Springs Chapel next week. We are joined by Kaberia and his team to lead us throughout the whole week. And uh, the other week will be joined by Lydia and Benja to take us through the whole week. And then Pastor Caro will join us on Friday. Then the, the last two weeks, it will be the Living Springs Voices, the Kingdom Network Worship Team, and uh, together with uh, other people. On the 23rd, we have a special teens outreach organized by a ministry that I cover, uh, that I oversee, called... Uh, Christ Forever Ministries uh, that is headed by uh, a very vibrant uh, young man, a, a motivational speaker, a musician, and uh, together brought up a, a really a cluster of exceptional uh, exceptional speakers who will be speaking for that day. On 24th, it will be a Saturday, and then on, 20, on 23rd, on Saturday, the whole day from 8 a.m. in the morning all the way to 6 p.m., then in the afternoon, we get into, in the evening, 6 p.m., we get into the worship experience. Then on Sunday in the afternoon from around 3 p.m., they also continue uh, with that and it's going to be amazing. So the flyers are there on our social media platforms. Kindly check and uh, align yourself accordingly. I truly love you. I appreciate everyone that tuned in. I appreciate Marion Jones, Monica Wangui, Pastor Oprah, Tasha Digala. I appreciate you. I, I thought Victoria, Victoria Depot, Eva, Betty favored. I appreciate you. Um, uh, Eva, Sio Banasia. That's a very unique name. I appreciate you, Eva. And, um, and uh, every other person that, that got in, I think I saw, uh, okay, Betty favored. I've mentioned you, I believe, already. I saw Izzy Nash. Then there's, a, there's, a, there's a, I think, a gentleman here. I'm trying to get his name. Uh, I, I truly appreciate uh, your participation, um, all of you. I truly love you. And just in the event that I don't mention your name, kindly please forgive me. Uh, uh, Apostle Israel Otieno was in also at some point. God bless you. Frederick, Frederick, 
uh, Omulindi, I was looking for you. Thank you very much, Frederick, uh, for tuning in. And I'll of course, now unfortunately, I can't get to scroll and get the other names. I truly appreciate you guys. Uh, God richly bless you, increase you, and multiply you on every side in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So until I come your way again, Cedric Momani also, God bless you. Until I come your way again, my name is Rafael Yafashini, saying shalom, peace, and life to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.